What are you doing here? I get it, and that's why you orchestrated um, an engagement between Mandy and I, knowing that I have no intentions of getting married. Is that an attitude I sense? Woman at this point in time is one woman that the evil she does is deep within her veins and no one can actually stop it at this point in time wura hey god wura is selfish like i said this in my last video and i'll say it again she's selfish she's self-centered she doesn't even care about anybody not even her children and that's the one that actually baffles me the most like if she can do things like this to her children her son specifically then who are others that she will not even do anything like who are others she will have to go the extra mile to make sure that she gets rid of you once you stand in her way how are you doing hope you're doing great hope you're staying safe i know i got so, so many messages from me people i'm very 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 extra sorry for not actually giving you a review on saturday that's because i had a wedding to attend and it was it was a whole lot so it over see the thing is I actually did a video but it is editing it was a problem like it was a serious problem because i didn't have the time to edit so i'm truly sorry about that and that's why i'm bringing you this video so i'm just going to do a rundown of last week and then today the episode of today so right now i have to say that wura i've said it before is selfish self-centered greedy anything you can think about that is what wura is because i don't understand why wura wants to sell out her son because she wants a license from the mine so amanda's father has actually put pressure on her at this point in time that she should actually do something in regards to um lulu and amanda getting married i made the engagement happen need to get married i think i agree we just didn't agree on the timeline so i say the kids must get married first so Wura has gone to meet Amanda's dad, telling Amanda's dad that she wants license to the river. Bear in mind, this is the same river that um, they actually drowned um, Tumini's dad. And now Amanda's dad has decided to actually seal the family relationship by selling out his daughter and telling um, Wura to also sell out her son. So basically, the man is saying that um, Amanda should actually get married to Lulu and trust that Wura would always use every opportunity to her advantage. She doesn't even care who is involved. At first, it is to her own good, she will. And I'm surprised that she's even also getting her children involved in this. She thought she was smart at some point in time. So she went ahead, called um, Amanda, they sat down, had a conversation, telling if you any noise, sorry, as I told you before, I went for a wedding and so. Um, family members are still around and all of that. So um, we now see um, we are going to talk to Amanda, saying Amanda that oh that um, she knows how um, Lulu, her son, can be. Lulu is very shy and all of that. That she should actually try and make some moves, try to talk more to Lulu because Lulu might never ever do that. I think you should invite him here. Go to him for a man to make a big decision. A woman has to nudge him in the right direction. So um, Amanda decides to go and meet Lulu at the mine, have the conversation, and I told oh, Lulu, okay, you know what, let's go and have um, a lunch date. Bear in mind that <laughs> Wura has actually tipped the waitress in this restaurant. So when Amanda and Luna came to the restaurant, the tip that Wura gave to this waitress is that the waitress should actually put a ring in amanda's drink amanda truly is not even aware of this plan that's just the truth so um when they got there um the waitress served amanda the drink which had a ring in it as she was drinking next thing is that she now drank a ring and then she now said wow you know this kind of surprise like ah um lulu i've never been planning things like this all of that and lulu is looking confused like i did not do this so hello day what exactly is happening here And it's now making me wonder why see sometimes eh, it's good to be quiet but sometimes it's good to speak out no matter what people will think when you know it is not when you know it's going to affect you directly i think it's best to speak out because this is something that's going to be like a lifetime i wonder why lulu did not speak out and say oh no it is not me i did not put that ring 
in that drink. I wonder why Lolu was shot. Like, you did not put it there. Period. I did not put it there. Maybe this is a wrong drink. Lolu just... Lolo just kept quiet and was looking at her and smiling sheepishly. Why are you smiling sheepishly? Did you propose to her? Did you put that ring there? Why didn't you speak up? And that was how he accepted it though. That was how Lolo accepted. That just reminds me of wedding party where they just proposed that like the ring fell off and he knelt down and then the girl thought he, want, he wanted to propose and that was how they got married. Now the same thing is happening here. Lolo, you did not put that ring there. Why didn't you just speak up and say, oh, it is not me. Next thing is that we're seeing we were trying to organize an engagement party for them and then they said the engagement party is here and when the engagement party came both families came together and they had their engagement like it's i don't know quiet is not a bad thing to be quiet is not a bad thing but when people are now pushing you to and fro like you're like a leather bag that once a car passed here it flings you to that side once it passes here, they fling you to that the, the car feelings is that's like then it becomes a problem because i do not know why lulu would not man up and tell his parents or tell the dad that see i don't know what is going on here this thing you are planning it's not my doing even lulu's dad is not even really in support of this marriage because in his own mind he's like i spoke to lulu about this whole getting married thing and in less than 24 hours he's already proposing because when i spoke to him about it he didn't seem like someone that was ready to actually propose he didn't seem like someone that was ready to get them um, settled down in marriage so what exactly happened why was there a sudden twist i wonder why the fa father too could not even sit down and ask questions like what exactly is going on yes he kind of asked lulu that, that question but lulu i think lulu is to take the whole blame in this whole thing because you're no longer a child you should be able to speak up if not for anything speak up to your father Tell your father, okay, I don't know what is going on. There must be somebody you need to speak up. Like, tell. Even if it's not your father, your mother, maybe your sister. The sister too is questioning, like, what exactly is going on? This is not my brother. I know my brother is even straight. I know my brother is gay. So how all of a sudden he is proposing? It's not even making any sort of sense. Then the engagement is here. Both families are here together. I know once engagement kicks in, it's like marriage has kicked in. So what Wura actually had in mind is that they just do the engagement and then she'll now go and meet Amanda's father and say, okay, well, we've done this thing. Then um, I need the license. But unfortunately for Wura, then Amanda's father has said, no, there has to be a proper wedding. And he's actually demanding a bride price of 50 million naira. <laughs> like 50 million naira bride price on Amanda's head. And Wura is actually shocked with that price, but she doesn't have a choice than to pay it. Now the engagement party is here, and then they now bring, we now have a new cast right now. So we now have a guy, I forgot what his name is, whether Femi or Yemi. I can't remember what his name is at this point in time. So he's actually the cousin to Amanda. So he now comes in. I don't know whether the guy is straight. I don't even, I think this guy is going to play a very key role, but let's just be watching. The guy now comes in, and then we now see um, Lulu really staring at this guy you know when you are really admiring somebody we now see lulu admiring amanda's cousin admiring him in a romantic way but i don't really know whether this guy is straight i don't even know and bear in mind that lulu's sister too is also liking the guy but i don't know how this is going to play out at the end of the day then the engagement party came and ended and um as i said before am i woran and goes again to go and meet amanda's dad saying oh um, engagement has been done what's the next step and then he said no there has to be a marriage that the other people offering me much more money than i told you to give me for my daughter's handy for um this person's um bright price so the ball is in your courts you need to actually set the ball rolling and the earlier you do it, the better because there's actually an investigative panel that has been set up for this whole um license thing so now we now see Wura trying to speed up marriage proposal tells her husband that oh it's time for him and his kinsmen to actually go to amanda's house and have that whole conversation about date of the wedding what type of wedding and all of that choosing a date and all of that and the husband is still suspecting things he now goes ahead to say come is amanda pregnant is he expecting a grandchild because this whole rush he doesn't really get what's going on because it's 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 surprising we did not plan this so how all of a sudden there's a wedding to plan i don't get it now that's where today's old ended um, was something about this horrid wedding that smells fishy. Are you hiding something? <laughs> Am I going to be my father? No, they move on. 
Okay. Now let's move over to Olumide's family. Um, as we all know, Ebu has been kidnapped by Biggie, yes. So, and Olumide is now aware that Biggie actually has Ebu in custody. So when he was having that conversation with his friend, Percy, um, Tumini actually walks in on them, very pissed at what happened, tells him, so you are aware that um, Ebu was actually kidnapped by Biggie and you said nothing about it, you did nothing about it. So she now asks them, okay, what exactly is going on? Why exactly did Biggie kidnap Ebu? Um, Able. and then you now go ahead to say okay oh, that biggie actually says the only way he can release Ebu is only if um they get to get the gold from the mine and give to him so she decided to do the whole detective job and goes ahead to meet her her bobo in quotes which is jj so she's having conversation with jj and all of that like how far with the gold what exactly has happened bear in mind that she was actually in the vehicle when it was attacked so jj unknowingly just reveals to her that oh the gold has been taken to the house because you know Wora's her husband is a detective is a, is a policeman so you know that before you can actually break it to Wora's house you need the guts to actually break it to Wora's house knowing fully well that her husband is a policeman you all, you know the security how tight the security will be so she now decides to tell her brother and say oh you know what this gold is actually in the house and if it is the house it's going to be difficult so she, she kind of find a way to get into the house so she actually used that engagement party to get into the house and she started looking for the gold in the house unfortunately for her she was looking for it we ran and walks in on her and now say what exactly are you doing here she now says oh she's trying to get a fresh hair fresh air so she decided to come into the room to have a fre fresh air the gold arrived safely in india <laughs> oh well, well. I had a phone out last night. <laughs> you didn't tell me about it. I didn't want to take any chances. I'll take it with you. So while she was having their conversation, I don't know if there's a call that came in. Then we ran and um, gets to reveal that you know what the gold has actually been taken to India and is no longer in the house. Um, to me now like she was shocked because she actually thought the gold was in the house even jj too was shocked that the gold was no longer in the house and the world was like yes i didn't want to tell anybody said to do this alone because of what had happened before so she now goes out tells her brother that see this gold is now in india and while she was actually telling the brother um biggie gets to call and see where is the gold and then in Pumulumi, they didn't know what to do again. Like, he now had to say, yes, I'm with the gold. He now decides to take a stone and then give to Biggie. When Biggie saw that it was actually a fake gold, he was very pissed, very angry, called um, Ulumi and said, who do you think you are? You think you're playing with me? Blah, blah, blah. Took um, a boom and then went into the forest. And I don't know, they were just walking up and down. I don't know what exactly um, this guy, um, Biggie, was trying to do by taking her to the forest and all of that. So when they got to the forest, um, trying to push a boom, then Ebu actually found the grass and now stabbed Biggie. After stabbing Biggie, she ran away. As she was running away, she now saw Olumide and Percy actually inside that bush as well, looking for her. So, next thing is that we're seeing Biggie grab, grab Ebu, and it was not like a a, a face off like um olumide was trying to say okay you know what leave my sister alone my sister has no hand in this just take me if you want to take me kill me if you want to kill me but just leave my sister out of it so next thing is that we see biggie shoot percy and then the next thing is um i think there was just you know this the way action film can be sort of then olumide shot biggie biggie shot olumide and that was how um Ebu actually escaped Ebu now came back to the house which is today's episode she came back to the house she was you know when you've gone through trauma she was traumatized she couldn't even say much Um, her mother had to ask her please did this guy touch you luckily enough biggie didn't touch her all of that so she was just traumatized and all of that then we now see the detective coming to actually ask her um questions like okay what exactly happened ask her if um she's aware if she knows anything about midday's involvement in this she said no if biggie told her anything about midday she said no like she really covered up for um Ulumide. She covered up for me. She didn't even tell the police anything. But bear in mind that um Biggie had already told her that why why he kidnapped her was because of Olumi. They told her the reason. Um executive asked, was your brother involved in the mind breakout? She said no. She just protected Olumi. They bear in mind that Olumi at this point in time was in the hospital from God shot wound. So now Olumi has been released. She he now comes back home 
and then the, she has she had to actually see the limited down and say you know what i spoke to the police people i didn't tell the police people anything because I, you're my brother one and because I want you to promise me that you will never go back to crime again because once you do go back to crime again I'm going to tell the police so she told the uh, Olumide to swear by um, their father's grave which Olumide said he has swore that he will never go back to crime again you told me everything everything I haven't told the police and I promise to keep your secret safe if all you promise me don't go to crime which i know is the life of the piece of hell i know lumide would definitely find himself in crime maybe not willingly but unwillingly now the question now is biggie is nowhere to be found biggie's body is nowhere to be found biggie's wounded body or dead body is nowhere to be found that that even makes me wonder like exactly that is biggie a cat is because biggie have nine lives you keep shooting biggie biggie escapes you shoot biggie here it's next thing that you're looking for biggie you're not seeing him so now it's likely that biggie is still alive and if he's still alive <laughs> olumide will definitely go back to cry because biggie will want to implicate him will want to set him up and thereby take him back to cry so i don't know how a boom will feel if she gets to know that Unumidi has actually gotten back to crime. Then on the part of Wura, Wura right now is going all all lengths to make sure that her son Lulu gets married to her mother. So that's all that had transpired today and um, last week and this week. A quick thoughts on this Wura. Wura is stingy, Wura is selfish, Wura is self-centered, Wura is anything but anything negative. That is what I'll say about Wura. That's for Unumidi and his family. Um, it's it's really unfortunate that they've actually found themselves in this condition in this situation i don't know how it's going to turn out at the end of the day but i know that that family has gone through a lot like a whole lot i just hope that they get to they get through this stage of life i just pray Olumi they get to change or if possible so i wish he can actually leave that um, village completely because it seems so many things actually surrounding him in that village anything that goes wrong is Olumide. i just wish he can leave and go start life afresh somewhere else and think i think that would be better for him but you know what he cannot leave he cannot leave <laughs> so let me know your thoughts in the comment section about wura i'm very sorry i was off trial last week but i am back i'm better i don't have any weddings to attend anytime soon so i'll see you in my next video and bye